it's me again <laughs> hey beauties and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is for diamond and i am all about the good vibes and if you're returning why thank you darling for joining me again i do apologize for being in my a for a minute um yeah I, I won't even get into that right now guys i won't get into it now but what is important is that i am back um all right so as you guys can see with the title of today's video i'm going to be speaking um about basically what i do and how you can actually earn an income from the comfort of your home um so yeah disclaimer before i even say anything else if i'm not mistaken right now due to the pandemic they are not really hiring unless it has changed but i remember they said that about four months ago so things could be different now so you must just give it a go all right so first things first i am an online english tutor and i teach english to students based in asian countries um, specifically Japan, um, Taiwan, Thailand, South Korea. Yeah, sorry, I'm just trying to remember so I don't miss any country out. Um, but yeah, so I teach um, English online through a company called Engu. So Engu um, is the company that provides those services. Um, and excuse me. And yeah, that's just about it. So the requirements. So in order to get in, um, I have... I don't know if it has changed now. Um, it could have changed. I, I'm not too sure because I last did this like nine months ago. Um, but at the time, the requirements were a good internet, um, good, 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 stable internet connection, a decent, uh, a laptop with a decent webcam, and what is this noise cancellation earphones or headphones with a microphone? Those were the requirements. You don't really require. Uh, teaching that they don't really require you to have a teaching certificate um, could be different now but I think it is advantageous if you do have one um, and then thereafter how to apply so there is an application form that you fill in of course with all your details so name surname where you're from and ID you need to put in your ID either passport or um, identification document driver's license just to identify you as a real human um, yeah to identify you and that's about it and then thereafter they just do a quick test to test your internet connection um you know your speed internet speed uh the sound quality and video quality before you even press apply so that if there's a problem then you need to sort it out another thing there you can only actually use it if you have a laptop so could i, I don't think it's still different because i remember when i applied that was still the requirements you need to have a laptop you cannot teach on a, a phone or tablet no you need a laptop um and then yeah and then thereafter there is an option guys well there's a there's a part in the application where you can fill in a referral so a refer a tutor referral code and please guys i'm gonna ask you beautiful people nicely on that part if you can please where it says tutor id i will write it down if you can write f two one four two nine that is f two one four two nine and two to name fadai yeah guys <laughs> um that really does quite a lot for me um you know of course if i refer um other teachers and all of that so please can you fill that in i would really appreciate it and then thereafter you press submit and you wait now i know the waiting period is a little bit longer right now as well because of the pandemic and high volumes and 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 uh, but i'll just speak on how long i waited so i think it was about two three days and then i got an interview so with engu there are two interviews could be different but at the time there were two interviews so the first interview you got uh well it's all done online at the time it was skype they might use a different platform now i don't know um so yeah you go you introduce yourself um and you just basically let them well you just basically prove yourself you know that how you you're very confident you're you're a bubbly tutor you know that kind of stuff yeah so you go into that um and then they do ask you a couple of questions which aren't too hectic really you know like basic english grammar or fix the sentence what's wrong with it a very important thing to note with your first interview your confidence is very important because already the students are nervous so now if you are nervous and your students are nervous then it's going to be a bit problematic 
so you need to prove to them that you are actually capable enough to make students comfortable and to make them want to learn English in a fun way and all that kind of stuff also just prove how you be a very fun tutor literally go all out if you have a whole poster in the background and if you're ha huh, then be ha huh, and add the zuguzu and the zagazar for them to really be like wow this person let's see them again let's get them you know to come back um and then yeah so now after you have passed your first interview congratulations but it is not done you you're far from over um thereafter then they send you all of the teaching materials for you to prepare for the very important interview which is the second one which is a demo class or demo interview so it is self-explanatory what happens is you are just basically going to be as if you are conducting a class of course not as long as it usually is um, but just for them to actually see how will you be a tutor but don't panic do not panic because you have all the material provided beforehand that they send to you and even demo videos so that by the time it comes to your demo interview you got it in the bag um, okay so let me just also explain this the the lessons Sorry, um, let me uh, drop my pen. Let me explain to you the lesson structures. So each class is 25 minutes long. Um, and then it's divided into two options. So the first option is materials, which you can use the materials that are provided by Engu. Uh, and they are amazing. They range from daily news articles, which is just, like I said, you know, news that comes in, international news, literally from any country, really about anything from science to health, to beauty, to education, to food. They are really nice because as much as you're teaching, you also are learning, you know. Um, and then there's free, and then there's, sorry, also with the material, there's grammar, there's test preparation for eyelids, TEFL, whatever the case is, that is that. Um, and then there's also free conversation. So most students who maybe don't want to use the material or who feel like their English speaking skills or the English skills are great already, they just need to practice and talk to somebody in English, they will usually book a free conversation class, which honestly, it's, it's very enjoyable. You know, you just chat, you talk about many things, culture, food, and, and, and. So it really is a very nice cultural exchange, shall I say. Um, so so yeah so jump to the interview you go to your interview make sure that you follow i cannot stress this enough follow 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 my battery is dying out okay follow 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 the instructions that you are given so if let's say you see um like it says greet the student in this way greet them in that way so in japan i know like they are very particular on how to greet so it's respectful to say son you know uh, after you greet so greet like that because they'll be paying attention to the smallest detail um and then yeah then thereafter make sure you shine and you know show them who's boss in that interview and then you do it twice so the demo class you have two demo classes the first demo class you do it you get feedback on what you did what you could improve on you do another demo class and then if you are great and they love you then they'll be like welcome on a board welcome on board let's get this going we like you come and teach for us um and then yeah you obviously do your whole contract stuff that's like you know obvious um and then yeah then thereafter you are good to go However, before you can now start opening slots, you have to just go through a one hour induction or orientation, uh, which is also done online. You can book your, uh, your slots on when you'll be available to do that. And it's just one of the recruitment guides, just take you through it and take you through the whole system and everything like that. So with Engu, a lot of stuff really changed like very quickly so there is always learning and this and that you know learning how to do this and that and that all the time but it's really nothing that you can like cry about and say it's difficult none of that all right then it comes to your first class congratulations you've made it so far you are now in your first class what must happen the confidence thing that i mentioned at the beginning you must carry it out throughout your whole teaching career or teaching period with engu because like again i said if a student sees that you are very confident you make them comfortable they will be comfortable the smallest thing i will show you guys a little clip of how i usually start my classes like a very big smile hi my name is fadai and they already automatically start smiling my name is teacher fadai um and may i have your name please 
Oh, that's good. That's good. So can you tell me which country you're from? I do sometimes get some like very grumpy students because of the time difference. Most times when I'm teaching during the day, it's already night time, so they'll be very tired. And I have to, you know, bring out my A game, all this energy to make sure that they actually stay awake. What's also important with that is make sure that you, you, you do the most for your student because they leave a rating for you. And if you get bad ratings, you might get deactivated. But of course, if you get good ratings and good comments and feedback, then other students before booking your class, they read that and they're like, oh, hey, I want to actually, you know, uh, try it out with that tutor. Um, so it's very important to actually make sure that you, you, you bring your A game, no matter how tired you are, no matter what, do it like that. Also, another thing about Engu is that you actually work at your own time at your own pace. You are not obligated to work a certain amount of hours no what's just important is that you make sure that you at least conduct one class a month to make sure your account is not deactivated but otherwise if you want to work from nine o'clock until five o'clock do it if you want to work from five until ten in the evening do it whatever time really um that you also see that peak hours for students that you'll be able to apply i mean to open slots in that period then you are good to go um 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 another thing is also yes yeah, so how to get more students so in the first time when you start teaching it may be a bit daunting you know you might be scared you might be nervous you don't really know what you're doing trust me by the time you're in lesson number like 10 you will know what you are doing and you'll really you'll really you know get the hang of it very quickly but how to get more students is being consistent consistency is very important with teaching because not every day you won't get every um the same student every day that does not happen so what happens is another after you do one class that might be the last time you seeing the student i had a student where they were my second student right in the beginning um and then i think in february yeah and then they literally went MIA and a few days ago they booked my class and I was like what this is you you know so you might get it's just important to be as consistent as possible because if you are consistent like have a consistent schedule then you might have um, quite a lot of returning um, students as well and of course I mean how to get more students is if you bring your A game I mean it's already amazing that you're meeting these people from a whole different country you know have a bit of a cultural exchange teach them something new about your culture or your country and ask them you know that whole interaction really makes them so happy to see you again um, and another thing as well is you need to understand that not every student is on the same level not on the same proficiency level and they're different ages honestly the other day i taught a three-year-old and the other time my older student is about how old is my older student i think about 82 was she 82 yeah around 81 82 somewhere around there so really you can you can even teach a, a, a student who's like 65 who is a beginner or then a student who's seven but who's advanced literally that has happened so you just always need to know how to prepare what to do you need to know how to conduct a class if somebody is maybe shy how to conduct a class if somebody is talkative because that also happens but at the same time you need to be as kind as possible you can't like scold them and be like oh I'll keep quiet no 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 don't do that um so yeah you just but you just pick up on it really it's human things of course if somebody doesn't really understand you you speak slow and i'm one person in the beginning i struggled because i tend to speak fast so i struggled with that but then i learned over time speak slow with the student so they are on the same pace i'll speak a bit faster with the student because they are you know more advanced and you just must also also just keep asking them are you okay do you have any questions do you understand you know just go all out explain as much as you can give as many examples so that they do understand um and yeah guys really that is honestly it um yeah it honestly is it so yeah guys um if you can if well if you're really interested in this opportunity to get to learn or earn money from home and all of that kind of stuff then apply 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 um they might be hiring now you never really know and if you do have any any questions honestly any questions even if you now got the job and you need help to get you know classes and you just want a bit of advice from me then let me help you drop me an email at fadzaimanyeza78 at gmail.com and you can just subject it as um eh, what what like 
angle video inquiry or angle video query something like that so i know you are like you you found that you got the information from my video so i can respond as fast as possible or alternatively you can just drop me a dm on instagram at fads underscore money please just instagram or email because other places i probably won't see it um and then yeah and then we'll take it from there so yeah guys thank you for sticking around to listen to this all the best to you all um for you know your future endeavors and for those who have applied well if you're watching this after applying congratulations to you and then if you also do get rejected unfortunately just remember that there are many other platforms that you can give a shot and it is still a pandemic so employment is a bit shaky uh, well recruitment is a bit shaky um so yeah guys that is it for today's video if you love this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also comment down below any questions queries compliments and um yeah guys until next time stay lovely stay safe and stay beautiful ciao